happens is because we are qualified licensed penetration testers and those types of things, we sign agreements to say we won't do that. What we did today is show the surveying of how you would service a, survey a wireless network, identify weak encryption, as we said, do not use web. We shouldn't be seeing web. But as you saw, going around Albuquerque, New Mexico here in the end of 2012, almost 2013, and we see web everywhere. That's a huge problem because you can crack web in a very short period of time, as we showed you with that test access point that we created and uh, set up in our demonstration. I just left California. So here you can see it's not the most exciting stuff, but uh, I'm already scanning networks here. I'm picking up quite a lot you of networks. Up some networks. Yeah. You got um, any web, man? Yeah, I got a couple of web networks. You or... got some web networks? I'm sure. Do I, need, I got do quite I need a to few, turn man. So we can uh, crack our web and see if we got a drink or not. The red indicates that there's web, which is your uh, wide equivalent privacy protocol, which yeah. is really a two or three crack. minute hack to crack that key, it's, which. It's, uh, it shows why radio engineers have no business developing cryptographic protocols. They don't know a damn thing about it. So when we created wireless security many years ago, everybody was in the meeting except for cryptographers. But even the actual algorithm, which is called RC4, which is for Ron Rivest of the R and RSA, it's, that it's algorithm, he, he, he says right in the white paper of the algorithm, do not reuse the keys. Yeah. And WEP reuses the key on every packet. So they decided, Radio engineers, again, radio engineers have no business doing cryptographic protocols. They decided, well, we need to put a random string in there protected. Well, they call that an IV, initialization vector. And that IV is only 24 bits. So because it's only 24 bits, I can go through the entire 24-bit key space in a relatively short period of time by doing what we call injection, injecting these packets and all that type of stuff. And by doing that, I get enough weak initialization vectors, IVs, and I crack the key. But we've got to realize that when people have bought some of these devices, they, you know, have had the access point for ages. It hasn't broken. Nobody's bothered to tell them about WEP. They don't know what WEP is in the first place. So that's why it's weak. We don't want to break the law. We might go in and crack a WEP key. We won't do anything with it. So all we're going to do is run the process. If it says key found, we're automatically going to shut down. We're not going to show the key. We won't actually show the key. We'll redact the key. We're just actually going through the process to show you just when you war drive, if you have WEP available, you're just asking for people to try to crack your actual access point if it's people from the malicious nature. So if you've got WEP on an access point, change it. It should be WPA, and today WPA2 AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, is what it should be. Don't be running any of this web anymore. Web has been, you know, broken for a long time, and I'm shocked that we're seeing this much web and seeing it on companies and corporate networks, especially. <clears throat> we also don't want to be sitting on top of the network we're going to be breaking into, so we figure we'll put a nice little antenna on this baby yeah. before we boot her up. And that's my Alienware. We'll make sure we head it Kevin's way because he's not interested in having any more kids, so we can definitely <laughs> nuke him. This is just using well, open source Linux machine. Uh, Backtrack is really just a customized version of Ubuntu, which is Linux. And uh, a Backtrack, probably one of the most popular, I would say, pen testing distributions okay. out there. Okay, yeah. It's preloaded with what, like 350 plus hacking Undoubled. tools? Yeah, and so, you know, it makes our life a lot easier because we don't have to go along and, you know, set up and install a whole bunch of stuff first. We are just basically picking up some wireless networks and we cracking some encryption. Trying to so... generate enough weak IVs, initialization vectors, that 24-bit IV. We're going to look about 18,000 to see if we get enough to crack the key. If I had another laptop with me, I could have injected traffic a lot faster. But at the same time, I'm also able to, you know, look at the fact that I've got my little mobile phone here as well, and I could actually launch some of the text from this little baby too. You could do the same thing, generate which more traffic. Exactly, generate more traffic though. So We're trying to get enough of those weak IVs to crack, so we have to inject traffic because there's no clients connected. If clients are connected, they would be generating traffic, but since no clients are connected, we've got to create our own authentication packets to generate a bunch of those IVs to get enough to crack the key. And this is why I tell everybody, yeah, I mean, WEP is broken, no doubt, but don't leave nothing. <laughs> Put WEP on if instead of nothing. Nothing is nothing. Then we don't have to do anything. We sit here, we'd intercept everything they're doing. And if we decide, hmm, 
they're going to PayPal or they're going to eBay. Well, we just spoofed their access point using this nice little tool right here, and then they connect to us, and they're not going to eBay. They go through us. We get their username, their password. We get everything. So what happens is when you type in that site, you don't know it, but you're going through us. When you're going through us, we're actually intercepting the traffic. That's what a hacker does. All right. So what will happen is if you go to a site like PayPal that uses that HTTPS you've seen before and stuff like that, it'll pop up and say, hey, we can't validate this site. You've seen that before? And what's mm -hmm. it that's I understand the risks and da 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 confirm security exception if you're in Firefox, those types of things. Well, you've just accepted the man in the middle attack. That was your only protection telling you, hey, I can't validate this site. So if we took this antenna right now and we spoofed the access point, say Starbucks or Arby's or wherever, whenever anybody connected to us, if they were going to HTTPS, it would always say, hey, I can't trust this site. But if you tell it to trust that site, that's what we call user circumvented security. User circumvented security is always the worst security to have because the user can say yes, 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 and then you've just been attacked. Your option is view the certificate. One thing is to view the certificate, to read and say, okay, what's saying on this certificate? Because when I do assessments, I got on the certificate and it says, hey, we're doing a test, good job, you viewed the certificate. Okay? But if you know it's a valid and legitimate site, you have a decision to make. Do you want to put your credit card information in there? Hmm. You can't guarantee it. A lot of times it's because you don't have what's called the root certificate. You don't have that root certificate downloaded into your browser. That's why you don't trust that site. But you never know that for sure. So you've always got that area of risk. So the safest way, pick up the phone and call. That's the safest way. Huh. Um, we cracked the key. You can see right now, well, you can see the key that's been cracked. Though. You won't know, obviously, what the exact... Right. Access point is because we've got to redact some stuff though, but there you can see within a few minutes We have uh, cracked the key. It says key found and decrypted correctly 100% Did the GUI do it or did the, the No, I used the GUI to do some of the actual uh, The stuff I couldn't remember like the yeah. air replay cafe yeah, yeah, latte yeah. and chop chop yeah. and so yeah. on because you know You're getting old. I'm getting old man. Yeah, and yeah, I can't yeah. remember all these freaking command yeah, lines, but um Next time we go war hey, driving, we'll make sure we bring our scripts. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just been a while since I've had to go and, you know, sit behind yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. driving. And yeah, um, But yeah. the point is, there was no clients connected to that network. It makes it more difficult. Which, although it was more difficult, it still pretty much gave us the ability to crack this with yeah. a few more extra minutes. So, uh, job done. So, it well, um, so that's a beer or a tequila for Kevin? Uh, it's beer for me. Two tequilas. Yeah, for you. Two tequilas. I can't hack when I'm drunk, man. So, um, <laughs>